Hey, what's up? It's Tony. This video, I'm going to talk about the big overnight bag. <laughs> uh, sounds like it's a piece of luggage, but it kind of actually is. So this is the drainage bag that you use for overnight so you can get a good night's sleep. And um, I actually had no idea how important or actually how long it had been since I'd actually gotten a solid night's sleep from the time I went to bed till the time that I woke up. And uh, yeah, you know, normally we can't get up, you know, two times a night, but I mean, I was getting up constantly and to be able to have a good night's sleep, I had no idea how badly I had missed that. And I cherish my sleep. I believe in sleep so much. I don't have a, a, a TV in my bedroom. I don't bring my computer in my bedroom. So to get a great night's sleep, and then especially when you're feeling down and you're healing, you know, with the catheter was amazing. So yeah. this is about how best to set the bag up, the, the night bag, so that you can get a great night's sleep. The first thing about this bag right here is it's huge like compared to me like it's bigger than my head okay but it's amazing that during the course of uh, you know seven eight hour sleep right this thing will be full absolutely full and um you know it's it's amazing how much we actually go to the bathroom so this is absolutely necessary the only problem though with this particular bag is that it's a bit cumbersome, right? You know, because you've got this massive tube that has got to stretch over your bed, you know, over your leg, over your bed, and, you know, attached to the side of the bed. Right? The problem with it is that I don't have a hospital bed to hook this thing. See, right there, you know, or attach it with a string to the side of the bed like they do in the hospitals. So it presents a bit of a problem. So, Initially, what I had decided to do in order to navigate this thing, which was crazy because, you know, do you put it between your two legs like this? Do you put it like, you know, right? You know, I had to figure that out. Secondly, to like, where on earth am I going to put this thing? So what I came up with, right, initially was to use some really large safety pins and pin them to the side of the bed, right? And then hook them. I used two safety pins actually, and I was able to hook it in there. The problem was, is that it all worked out really well and good initially when the bag was empty. However, during the course of a night's sleep, right? The bag got heavier and heavier and heavier. And I don't know, I had no idea how much this would end up weighing and it actually ended up ripping the sides of the sheets, which was not really a good nice. thing. So that wasn't going to work. So I thought, okay, what else can I possibly do? Because it's supposed to hang. You're told it's supposed to hang, right? So that didn't work. So I came up with another solution, which worked out really great. And that was, let me just show you my little McIver stuff, was if you take a hanger like this, Take a hanger, take a hanger like this. What you can do is you can wedge the hanger between the mattress and the box spring. So about that much right there is sticking out and all of this is inside and it'll create like stability. So that much is sticking out right there. And, okay, so box spring or bottom of the bed, mattress up here. But then basically the side of the bed and then what you do is you've created this little hook, right? And the bag can stay right there, just like that. Genius, right? So, and then this part right here would go onto the bed above here and then attach to your body. See that? With a hanger. Ta-da! Yeah, that worked out geniusly. Yeah, so a little ingenuity. So I'm sure that's going to help you out because really, what do you do with the size of that bag? And you actually, you know what I did do? Um, uh, I can say uh, truthfully that uh, even when the bag was full in the morning, right, there was enough stability in this thing that it didn't end up breaking because so much of it is actually under the bed. It's engineering or something like that, you know, so that it worked out perfectly. So that was great. I mean, I guess a wire hanger would work as well. But if you have one of these ones, this would work or a plastic one would definitely work too. But that's all you need sticking out. And then the bed actually holds everything else in place. And that can take actually 
a, nice, a night's worth of pee. <laughs>